Hi friends, this is Selvajan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good. And today let us discuss about how to troubleshoot local preference. So local preference always the highest local preferences preferred. So local preference is one of the BGP attributes. So it is applied locally, which is used to prefer the outbound or an exit path. So in this architecture, I connected R1, R2 and R3. So all this R1, R2 and R3, I connected in autonomous system number 1. R4 is in AS2 and R6 is in AS3 and R4 is in AS4. So for checking the traffic flow, I connected two different hosts to AS3 and AS4. One is PC3 and PC1. So both are in the different subnet 31.2 and 32.2. Right? So what I'm going to do first, let us now check the default traffic flow. Let us now go before applying the route map, before applying the route map to this local preference attribute. So I'm going to check the local traffic flow. Let us go to R1. So how to do, let us do a trace to this corresponding host 31.2 and 32.2. Let us go to R1 trace 192.168.31.2. So this is a trace. It is taking the traffic. The default traffic is taking away R2 to R4, R4 to R6, right? So that is the traffic flow you are seeing 12, 24, 46 and 31.2. And similarly, the second host is 32.2. So 32.2 is taking this traffic 13.2, 35.2, and simultaneously this one. You are able to see right 13.2, 35.32. This is this is a default traffic behavior for local preference. And let us check the attributes. Show IP BGP. Show IP BGP is a BGP routing table of R1. So now let us check the default behavior. So the default behavior it will take the default local preferences 100, right? So for both these was 31.2. So 31.2, the default traffic is taking 24.2, right? You, you have seen that. And 32.2, it is taking the traffic 35.2. So this traffic it is taking. So that is the default behavior. So now let us influence the traffic. So what is the thing I'm going to set is for both this traffic, I want to take this as a preferred part. So always this, I have to set the highest local preference. So I'm going to set this as the highest local preference. So let us go to the corresponding R2. And before that, I'm going to create the route map for local preference and I'm going to apply to this corresponding R2, right? So let us go to R2 and let us create the local preference. So go to the configuration mode, route map. So let us create the route map. So route map, loc, we'll make this loc, permit 10. So the match IP address, so let us make it as 65. This already created the access list. Match IP at 65, set local preference, let us make it as 900, then exit, then let us create a default statement, root local map, permit 20. So let us check the access list, show IP, show IP access list is 65. 31 and 32 are the corresponding host traffic, 31 and 32, I have set it to, this is the access list I have set. So what happened when the, whenever the traffic comes in automatically both this host will take this as the exit path to reach this corresponding host when I'm doing a trace from here. So local preference always used to prefer the outbound path. That is the reason I connected the host here. So from R1 if I'm doing the trace it will show it both the host 31.2 and 30.2 will take this as a preferred path to reach this corresponding host right. So that's the thing. So this local preference what I created, I'm now I'm going to apply on this corresponding R2. So let us go to R2 configuration mode, router BGP1, router BGP1, and let us set the neighbor as 192.168.24.2. This neighbor I'm going to apply, and the route map you have to apply this statement. So route map is LOC, right? LOC in because local preference is always shared within the internal autonomous system which is used to prefer the best outbound path right so here it is shared within the locally and it is going to take the best outbound path so this path i'm going to make the most preferred path so that is the reason default this will take 100 so this path i have set the attribute as highest local preference that is 900 i have set the path as i have set the local preference attribute as 900 and i'm going to permit these two different hosts that is pc3 and pc1 so that is the rule i have created so now we have done the Local preference, let us quickly do a show run and let us check the configuration. Show run, okay. So now let us go into the configuration of BGP. See router BGP1 and we have defined all the network statement 12, 24 and all the statements and neighbor 192.24.2 remote is, this is true, right? And this is the inbound autonomous system. This is the internal autonomous system. This is an EBGB. So to the uh, to external, I apply this to neighbor 192.24.2. 
this is a route map already we created route map loc in this route map loc you already created right so for that i said the local preference is 900 so which match the access list so 31 and 32 so both this 31 and 32 i'll do a trace from r1 it'll take this as a preferred path because i have set the highest local preference as 900 right so i hope you are understanding so now i have, i already applied to this corresponding bgp on r2 so now i'm going to do a soft reset how to do that glow clear ip bgp 192.168.24.2 right this thing and do a soft in and out so let us do a in and out then let us save the configuration so after that immediately you can see the so in, initially we saw the default behavior is 100 under down so now I applied the attribute 900 on this corresponding 31 and 32 now let us see show ip bgp so now you can able to see the changes right you are able to see 31 it is taking this as a preferred path 34.2 and 32 take 24.2 as a preferred path previously we saw the behavior right 32 take 35.2 as a preferred path always you have to consider this should be star and the valid so it took 35.2 as a preferred path with the default local preference attribute 100 so after applying the local preference attribute as 900 what happened both 31 and 32 take 24.2 as a next stop interface even 31 and 32 also took 34.2 as a best outbound path because of the highest local preference attribute so now let us do the trace to 31.2 and 32.2 so previously we saw the behavior is different right 31.2 took this route and 32.2 took a different path so now let us see both will take the same path trace 192.1 state.31.2 it took this path 12.2 24.2 46.2 1 right 31.2 this is a hop it took because of the highest local preference let us see the 32.2 second host so the second host also will take the same path 12 24 46 then it will take this again one hop 56 then 56 you are able to see 12 24 46 56 then it will take 32.2 this is a host so this is a way we can set the highest preferred outbound path right so always local preference highest local preference preferred it is used to prefer, prefer the highest outbound path and local preference always shared locally within an internal autonomous system so that is the thing you would always keep it in mind and also let us view the configuration let us go to r4 i want to show you another thing quickly let us give, view the configuration show run so for external bgp so now you have to always define this next stop self keyword so this is the thing we are you defined right neighbor r4 is neighbor i think here it is not mandatory neighbor 24.1 and 46.2 that is remote as is 3 right and the internal system 24.1 and the remote autonomous system number is 2 24.1 is 1 so this r1 r2 r3 are in 1 so this is established an ibgb neighbor right so one is an so one is an ibgb neighbor and this is an ebgb neighbor to 3 this is the thing we have do. then i have defined this network right 24 46 so this is the way we can configure the bgp so let us view the RFA configuration also just to understand the configuration let us go to do a show run similarly RFA also I created the router bgp router bgp4 so this is in autonomous system number 4 right so i have defined the network neighbor 192.168.35.1 this is the internal system that is the thing autonomous system number 1 ibgb neighbor and it is one ebgb neighbor to 3 right so that's the thing i have defined here ebgb neighbor so then we have to define this network statement so always keep it in mind we have to define the network statement with the corresponding mask so the network is 32 35 and 56 these are the things i have defined so why 32 is i have connected the host that's the reason i have connected uh, defined this network so this is the way we can do the perform the configuration and uh, this is the way we can troubleshoot the local preference so local preference the key points remember is it is always used to prefer the outbound path with the, which is shared locally within an autonomous system always the highest local preference is preferred and the default value is 100 so i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos thanks and have a wonderful day thank you